Okay, today I want to talk to you about a little bit of my own personal theory, and my personal theory is obviously not per my personal theory. It's based upon many people telling me many things and doing many things over many years that are related to electrotherapy. And what it basically is, I'm just trying to give you an understanding uh, or communicate better to you what I think is the thing that is making and electrotherapy is wide open for what goes on. But we can use electricity, and that's a whole field, that's a, a very broad term. But we can take electricity and we make bones grow back together that weren't going to grow back together, and therefore you avoid amputation. We take bed sores and other things like that, and we make them grow when they weren't growing, and you replace the cavity with new tissue. Obviously, the point of conception, the magic between uh, an egg and sperm is the electrical charge. The electrical charge is what initiates it. We use some of the common cellular principles to make things happen that are beneficial to us. And this, I'm not claiming this is right. I'm only claiming over my 30 plus years of doing this, this is what I have seen that seems to be very consistent. You hear people start off in the industry that I've been in, I don't care what type of device they got. Their device, the way they start making money and are able to continue to exist, is they basically differentiate, well, my machine has this waveform or that waveform, or it does A and B and C and D, and that's why my machine works, and therefore, that's why you should use it. Uh, I don't believe waveforms are the key to this thing. I don't believe there's any, there are literally, literally billions of different types of combinations of electrical energy you can do and you will get similar results. Sometimes you will get it quicker, other times not as quick. Sometimes it's very expensive, sometimes it's not very expensive. I don't believe the magic is in the waveform and a lot of this stuff. I sincerely believe the magic is in polarity. And all polarity means is a charge, electrons that are floating around on an atom. They're floating all over the place, 186,000 miles a second. They have a negative charge. You look inside the atom, you have a proton with a positive charge. What happens is the negative charge, and in nature we call it balance. We call it pH if you're doing botany, alkaline versus acidic. One's negative, one's positive. It's nothing unique. This is, the way, this is the way our world works. What is going on, and I like to use the analogy, some machines, especially with bed sores, if a bed sore is not healing, of course, everything assumes proper nutrition and everything I'm talking to you about. A bed sore is not healing. If you apply a specific charge positive or negative, and that's not a black and white issue, there's gradients of that, but positive or negative charge, if you apply the proper charge at the proper time, it heals immediately. If you don't, you apply the wrong charge to it, then it just sits where it is and doesn't get better. I'm not sure it gets worse, it just doesn't get better. Well, what is going on and like I don't know if you can single in on this and maybe Jeff can I want to show you a, a waveform on the infrax you see that little square there's a little square right there and it shows a little square at the top and a square at the bottom what that signifies is part of that is a positive charge part of that is a negative charge now what that negative positive charge is doing is when the electricity goes into the patient's body it goes in for some time period, it's a positive. For another time, equal time period, it's a negative. Now, when you eat, and this is the analogy I like to use, we all know that many times we eat things because they taste good or we're used to eating. They're not really good for us. But what our body does is it eliminates it. Some of the stuff you ate was good for you and some was bad for you. The body is smart enough to figure out what it needs and what it doesn't need. It uses what it needs and it discharges what it does not need. The same thing is going on when you allow the body the exposure 
of a positive and a negative charge. My contention is the body chooses which polarity it needs to affect positive change in healthiness. It, it assumes, it uses, it does what is necessary to stay healthy. Remember, animals, humans, plants. Cells basically exist to live and will do whatever they can to live and to do their function. When we give them what is necessary to heal, we don't have to heal it. We don't have to tell the, give the body a supplement and say, this is to stop pain. We just have to give the body what it needs to heal itself. That's the natural way of things. I think the positive changes that are being seen are because externally we are feeding the body the electrical charge it needs, it then uses that to affect the positive change. As you've seen in my previous videos about what does it take, the Brenda Savage book on to create chemical change, we do that. We give the body what it needs. We don't always know what the body's doing with it. We can just look at the results of what happened as a result of electrical intervention. My honest to goodness feeling as it all boils down to polarity, either positive or negative charge at the time the body needs them. That I think is the key. And the reason I did this video is I know how complicated it is. Well, you have to have this and this and this and that and frequency and pulse and pulse width and got to go off and on your treatment protocol, blah, 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 blah. I don't think it's quite that complicated. And I think over time, as you see what will happen on our website, through our functional restoration clinicians, through some of the protocols we put up, some of the results you'll see coming up, I think it will become clearer. This isn't total rocket science. This is practical common sense science. You got it. I hope I got it. And I think that's what's going to happen. Thanks for watching the video.